do you want to do the intro or do you want you want to just do it? I think you do it. Okay. You're the other one in charge. <laughs> do I give off this general demeanor of being in charge? Ha <laughs> ha little you know me, Alex. Oh. Hello everybody, welcome back to episode three of the Honor Vodcast, where this week we will be focusing quite a bit upon the Honor 50 Lights, which is one of these. Let's just introduce my co-host here, Alex. Good day to you, sir. Hello. Thank you for having me on again. It's getting a bit regular thing now. It is. Like we're kind of consummate professionals. We try to. That we are. Yeah. Mm. What have you been up to? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. (laughs) Uh, Battling the weather. I think we've had all sorts of weather, especially in the northeast. We've had snow, wind, rain, you name it. We've had every single season so far. So we've gone from the dizzy heights of 20 degrees and then we've had snow. So, yeah. Which has been fun. I was driving through a snow flurry outside Bristol last week, and it was just like you know, driving through light speed. It's just everything just blasting at the windscreen. Yeah. Thinking this this was glorious sunshine a week ago. What's going on? <laughs> I'm also going to try and not cough my guts up all the way through this podcast. So um, yeah, if you if you see me coughing, everyone um, don't panic. I'm okay. I don't have the virus, but uh, yeah not been feeling too good so excuse the hacking and the horrible noises coming out of my uh, nose and throat a really happy start to this podcast yay <laughs> miserable weather and illness <coughs> oh, there you go that didn't take long oh, it's already starting to build up with the cuffs great first up what else has been going on at the moment there isn't really any uh updates on the magic 4 pro that we can let people know about uh we're still waiting on full release dates and more solid information and alongside that we're still waiting on more confirmation with uh, regards to other bits and pieces such as the magic v which if you watched last week's no it wasn't last week if you watched two weeks ago podcast you find out that alex is seriously looking forward to showing that one off yeah, can't wait for the V. I think that's going to be the killer phone. Um, I think they're both going to be really good to be fair. I think it's just, I think it's putting on it on the map um, for the big technology that's coming out, which is get, always good to see. Looking forward to everything we've got coming through. I just want it now. Before we get into the stuff we can't play with just yet, it's worth highlighting. We wanted to have a little chat about the Honor 50 Lite. I'm coughing, coughing, coughing. 50 Light has in the last, when was it? Last week? End of last week, Friday. Yeah, so 50 Light has now dropped to sub £200. It is £199 as of the recording of this video in the UK, which is a superb price for a device that is fairly well specced out. Um, When you compare this to a lot of other things around that price point, it has some big advantages. Uh, notably the the storage, the RAM, uh, the cameras, big screen. It's surprisingly powerful for what it is. Yeah, and the supercharged plug, which we mentioned last time as well. What? It, one of these? Oh, there we go. See, I found my plug. I found my plug. Um, I was getting all worried about where my plug was. So, mm, yeah, supercharged 66 watt, if I could find it on the camera. It's not coming through, is it? No, but trust me, it does say... 66 watts right here to have a fast charging plug in the box as that was said, as we said last time 40 percent charge in 10 minutes 75 percent 20 i think it was seven uh 17 20 yeah so yeah which is yeah super super quick uh it's a 4300 milliamp hour battery which i mean i i get easily uh you know well past the day with this no hassle um, into the second day. Obviously, it depends on how much you use it, but decent sized battery, really quick ability to charge it up, which is what you want to do. Again, you just forget that it needs to charge, whack it on while you're having breakfast, done, dusted, really, really simple. It does look different, right? It's not, even though it's part of the 50 family, it does look a little bit different to the regular 50 in the approach on the back of it with the camera array. Well, the back and the front, obviously, you you got the flat screen on the front but it's still a really big screen i think it's actually bigger than the 50. it is uh test my knowledge uh 6.67 inch instead of uh 6.57 inch on the 50. so yeah so slightly bigger but as i say the the body to ratio of the phone is really bigger then obviously you've got the big circle um 
on the back, which you probably can't see because it's a black phone. The, the camera array on the back, it, it's ironically, it's kind of a prelude to the Magic series, isn't it? Where you've got that main lens in the centre. Um, what was it called again? The Eye, Eye of News. That was it. Yeah. If you're liking the look of the the Magic camera array set up on the back this is kind of a prelude to it where you've got one big central array with four cameras in a square formation the main lens is 64 megapixel and then you've got your wide uh, depth and a macro camera uh, macro cameras are great there's some um funky pictures on my instagram of taking close-ups on um flowers and things like that it, it's it's really, really good. You want to be a couple of millimeters away from the target and you can get some incredible detail off the back of it. There are things like that, especially if we're coming, well, supposed to be in spring, right? Uh, call back to snow, rain and everything else. A macro camera um, is it, really good for those extreme close-ups and things. It's great that they've got one on there because a couple of years ago, a macro camera was seen as more of a, uh, a premium feature. On the front side, with the big size screen on it, um, you've got a pill cut out shape uh, with a 16 megapixel selfie camera on the front which is tucked into the top left hand corner and th the thing is with this as well like you said with it being a big screen uh, I've, I've tried watching a couple of movies on this in passing and playing some games and it's great for that because it's such a big real estate you've got such a big real estate of actual screen size that even though it doesn't feel like a huge phone but the edge to edge on it is really really well, big. Find a better adjective than that. <laughs> Word of the day, kids, is big. That's that's, that's what I seem to be saying today. Really, really good, and it's really, really cheap. Yeah, really bright as well. Um, screen, yes. so just the, the colours are coming out on the screen. Um, really good. <laughs> Again, well, good and big. <laughs> um, when I've taken it into stores and I've shown staff through training events and things, the, the one of the first things that they come back to straight away is. Oh wow, that's bright, and that looks that looks really good actually. I've done it again. Good. Oh, oh. So next week before we do this podcast, I'm just gonna go to sleep reading a, a dictionary and just hope that something superlative yeah, eats its way it, into it, my it subconscious. I believe it also has the DCI-P3 uh, classification, which gives it uh, a more realistic and accurate color representation yes. wide color gamut which with a bright screen and a big screen is what you want when you're watching content and playing games on it you want something to visually pop so the screen to body ratio on the 50 light is 94.4 percent and the super narrow bezel is only 1.05 millimeters wide so not that you can really really see it too easily on here but yeah yeah the edge is really small compared to the edge of the screen yeah, it's pretty much edge to edge, isn't it? It's... Again, for a sub two hundred pound phone, that's that's a really appealing feature. One of the other things that the fifty light is pretty good. I've done it again. No, stop saying good. It is really good, to be fair. Ah, uh, this podcast is brought to you by the words good and the number. 128 gigabytes, which is how much storage the 50 Lite has. Again, that's that's on par with the standard 50. And in that price range, you're used to most phones generally having a sort of 64 gig storage. So having double that is a major benefit for a ridiculous amount of space. Yeah, 28,000 pictures, it's plenty, plenty of storage. I don't think that's... any... Got 28 photos on there, I think, to start. It is also dual SIM, which is no surprise because everything we do is pretty much dual SIM. It's so much, so much better. I I've been using dual SIM for about three years now, and it's just become that running joke when I tell people about it. So like, I can never go back to having multiple phones. It's definitely easier than obviously taking the SIM card, a tray out and putting another SIM card in, obviously. It tells you what, what SIM card's being used and, and how, how, it, how it's working with that. And you sort of just use the phone as normal, really. You don't really notice, or you got to switch for switch SIMs. It's so clever. And like you say, it's so simple. It's intuitive that it just goes, right, well, it's just like having the two meshed in one. Um, one of my favourite features on using a dual SIM is the ability to have two apps for certain things. So whereas, obviously, if you know how things work with WhatsApp, it's one SIM card for WhatsApp and that's it, yeah? 
Um, but because of the way that the dual SIM works on it, you can have two WhatsApps. So I have one set up for my personal and then one set up for work. And they're both on the homepage. I can just have one on one side, one on the other. And it's really easy to distinguish where the messages are coming from. And yeah, it, it really helps organize my life rather than, oh, God, where's my phone? Where's my other phone? I think if I had to run multiple phones actually in a day-to-day -day environment, it would just drive me insane. Yeah, I, I, one another thing, I, I had two different network sims in there. And if one wasn't working in the area, just to these, just swap the internet's and use use the other sim for the internet and just be able to keep keep using my phone was yeah. really handy as well kind of thing, just that seamless effort of still being connected wherever i was yeah that that itself is great because you don't that's a very good point you, you bring up there actually that you don't need to be in the same network they can be different networks and you can set a primary data drawer off one of them so that your data is being used on one of them uh, and you can flick that backwards and forwards um, yeah, it just makes it really, really easy. Um, but yeah, dual SIM. Dual SIM is a great feature and dual SIM is standard on the 50 Lite, but might as well say it's also on the 50, regular 50 as well. Sing a little song, Alex, whilst I just down this water. Sing a little song. Uh, well, it's also worth mentioning as well, the price change for the 50, the 256 gig. Probably yes. So that's now below £400. So uh, different Price points now, obviously, the 50 light at 199, the 50 at 349, and for an extra 50, 50 pounds, double the storage and an extra two gig of RAM. The processor in that was the Snapdragon 778G, and that was a capable, very good, fast phone for gaming. Uh, the eight gig of RAM just makes that even better. Speaking of which, we didn't say this, so 50 light, 50 light also has six gig of RAM. I can't remember if we said that or not. Decent amount of power running it, which means it's going to be quick. Uh, Swapping between apps is going to be seamless. You're going to be able to have a lot of them open at the same time. And yeah, again, sub 200 pounds, six gig of RAM. Very, very, very good. And that's good again. Oh. I think, are we, are we in charge for the next promo of the new phones? I think we should be. Really good phone. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a job in marketing for us. Um, yes, that's right. Yeah, if, if you want us to market your products with the words good and big, <laughs> what, have, what have we turned into? Uh, <laughs> I think we've hit the peak. I think the, the second video was, was the best one. I think we've, we've just this is it. We, we're going downhill now. This is the slide. Or we're going to slide into perfection. It's, it's going to pick up from here. We're going to sort of come down like a like a ski slope and then just shoot off the other side and be amazing from here on in. Hopefully. Hopefully. But we'll find out on the next podcast, which should be in around two weeks, and hopefully we'll have a bit more exciting news to share with you regarding new products. See how I seamlessly you know, wedged that in there? Good, that. You, you're a professional, really. Maybe, I am. Maybe I, I'm just bringing you down. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. Hopefully, as well, when we come back, I will not be coughing or sneezing everywhere. And uh, that'll be uh, a, little, a little bit better for everybody. <laughs> or more good. More good. More good. That's the title. Uh, that's, that's the title, I think, for this week's episode is more good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.